from Los Angeles. How's it? Paying credit card interest and betting the UConn women's basketball team won't win outright. <laughs> Those are both examples of throwing away your money. <laughs> you get an offer in the mail or something? <laughs> uh, when the season starts, every team has the same goal, win the national title. It's a dream for some teams, lofty objective for others, reasonable outcome for a few, but it's an expectation for only one program right now, and they look like they're on their way to meeting that expectation once again. Brianna Stewart and her UConn teammates have already won the last three national titles. Seniors on that team to move to within two wins of a fourth. Huskies taking on Texas in the Elite Eight in Bridgeport, Connecticut. You see everything that they've done as a senior class. Stewart says, why stop now? She puts Connecticut up eight. She's inbounding the ball here, passes to Morgan Tuck, and she's going to get it back. She had 21 points, 13 rebounds. Most outstanding player of the last three Final Fours. Uh, somehow Texas forgot about Stewart. I'm not sure how you do that. Uh, they beat Texas by 51 in last year's tournament. The Horns said they were focused on doing better this year, but what can you do? All three seniors get involved here in the fourth quarter. Stewart to Mariah Jefferson, back to Stewart to Tuck. Tuck at 22, Jefferson 11 points and 9 assists. UConn headed back to the Final Four for the ninth straight time. During their run, yeah, during their run, when they were going really good, I remember sitting down and going, you know, this is really great for women's basketball. Now all those guys can shut the hell up. <laughs> I was thinking that. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Not really. I'm thinking, you know what's good for Connecticut basketball? We need to go on a 12 nothing run. You know, after working all this time since September, uh, you're that close to getting to the Final Four, and that's every kid's dream. Um, and you, when you get there, anything can happen, but it can't happen unless you're there. You know what they say, 90% of things in life is just being there. So these guys are going to get a chance to be there and see if they can make some history. Talk some more about that good for the game thing a little bit later on. Connecticut finds itself in familiar territory. They've now been to nine straight Final Fours. That's by far the most in women's Division I history. Just one away from tying UCLA's men's record. Different game, of course. Over the years, the Huskies have had 18 first-team All-Americans. Some of the great players in women's history, Diana Taurasi, Rebecca Lobo, Sue Bird, Swin Cash, and Maya Moore. But none of them have put together a run like Stewart, Mariah Jefferson, and Morgan Tuck. That trio now two wins away from four straight national titles, which, is, which has never been done. You know, this is our goal coming in, and we're so close to reaching our goal as we come out. And, you know, we, wanna, we don't want to end it any other way. The people who have not been there yet are the freshmen. How do you think they responded to the very stern talking to tonight, Morgan? Uh, you know, I think they took it to heart. And, you know, they came out and played really well in the second half. And, you know, that's what we need in the Final Four. They're going to be a little nervous, but they're going to come through for us. Nothing comes easy, and especially, you know, playing for him, playing, playing at UConn, nothing is easy. And, you know, we had to, to build that chemistry, to rebuild the chemistry with our entire team, to show the young guys... Um, how we do things to, to become even better leaders, um, take on bigger roles. And, you know, it wasn't easy, but the experience definitely helps. All right, so the Final Four set. Connecticut, the only one seed to make it, and the Huskies will face the two-seed Oregon State. We're going to show you how they got there. That's Sunday, 6 Eastern on ESPN. Pair of surprises, the four-seed Syracuse, just like the men, got there. They're facing the seven-seed Washington on Sunday, 8.30 Eastern on ESPN2. The national title game will be Tuesday night on ESPN so so there so there's some parody on the undefeated Connecticut women surging back in to the final four again into the final four again into and we are underway Stewart gets a great look and buries the three Collier lots of contact and she made it that was a great piece of hesitation you know he challenges them and then they rise to the occasion and you know we need them for the second half a surge by the Huskies, but it seems like nothing but stars on the floor, led by the great Brianna Stewart, who had another outstanding night, and number one, Connecticut. They are on their way to Indianapolis. To be so close to winning four national championships is its exactly where I want to be. Her legacy will be the best player, the most decorated, and the best postseason player ever in the history of the NCAA. An unprecedented third time, most outstanding player, Brianna Stewart. Her senior year, 
you want to make sure you go out on the, the highest note possible. With that is the national championship. Rihanna Stewart and her teammates are marching toward what appears to be an inevitable fourth straight national title. How can something unprecedented also seem inevitable? Well, because it's the Connecticut women. Bored with finding new ways to discuss their dominance, some are now asking if they're good for the game. And those questions will likely become another imaginary opponent for UConn. More insurance against complacency, which appears to be the only opponent with any chance against them. Competition certainly has its place. It's one of the main reasons we enjoy sports. But so is excellence, especially unparalleled excellence. Here's Tom Rinaldi. Beyond dominant, ahead of perfect, past dynasty, there lies the most mythical land in sport, the state of inevitability. You probably know the place by its more common name, Connecticut. And UConn has done it again. 39-0 again. And a national championship again. It's the domain where the UConn women play, where every result is already written, every win expected, every title predestined. UConn has done it again for the 10th time. They are the champions. Again this season, they've turned competition into coronation. The list of the program's pending achievements strains the mind. For Gino Oriema, in his 30th season, the chance to win his 11th national championship. That's one more than John Wooden. An unprecedented third time, most outstanding player, Brianna Stewart. For Brianna Stewart, the senior forward, the opportunity to win four NCAA tournament MVPs in four years. That record would be one more than never. She'd be the first college player in history to do it. For the Husky senior class, the prospect of winning four titles in four years, a string of success unequaled even in the history of this program. UConn can make such bright thrills appear as givens to turn triumph into pale expectation. It wasn't beautiful, but it was perfection. Connecticut has won the national championship again. That's the mistake we make. They understand likely better than we do. Inevitability is the enemy of victory. It assumes rather than earns. It supposes rather than proves. This coach, this player, this program is obsessed with what comes before proof. Not inevitability, effort. For UConn, this isn't the final four. For them, it's the next one.